What's up guys? Welcome back and thank you so much for watching. So I decided to make a video about most unique fragrances that I have smelled in my life, I would say. And some I have in my collection which I think are very unique and just different. And some of them I do not own just because they are too unique for me. I am not able to wear them. I think that they smell nice and some of them are just like not fragrances in my opinion like it would be a scent that i would want to smell just not on me you know what i so i want to start with the fragrances that i have in my collection and then i will mention the fragrances that i have smelled and tested before so if you're interested please keep watching so the first one i have here is called louvre and it's from serge Lutens. Now, even though this might be a very simple fragrance, this is what I thought in the beginning when I just smelled this. It is still very different and I don't want to say complicated, but it's definitely unique in my opinion because, now this is the thing, when I smell this, I thought it smells like an almond extract, like the one that you would get from a grocery store. And I just thought like, what the heck? This is like around $400 and okay, even though there's 100 ml in here, this is absolutely ridiculous for this type of a fragrance because it smells like an almond extract. Like you could just go to a grocery store, get almond extract and just rub that all over yourself and you're good to go. You know what I mean? And here you have this perfume which costs $400, which is absolutely nuts and I can't believe that I paid this price for this. But even though it smells like an almond extract or almond uh, oil from L'Occitane or um, the almond lotion from L'Occitane, I think that it smells pretty similar. I realized that I haven't smelled anything like this in a perfume before. I think it smells very unique. I believe there's also smoky notes in here, but I don't smell any of that. In fact, it kind of actually smells like an almond soap sometimes. I also get that. Uh, but overall, it is like an almond extract. I'm not even joking. If you love almond scents, definitely try this one out. And just because of that, I think that it's very unique. The performance is actually uh, okay with this. I remember I sprayed this on myself and I was walking with my mom outside. I did like one spray with this. I sprayed it on my jacket and she kept telling me like, what are you wearing? She was like walking behind me and she was like, oh my God, this smell. What the hell are you wearing? Is that a perfume? Like she kept asking me. She was like, the sillage is absolutely insane. Then we walked into a store and she was like, oh my God, it smells like crazy. She's like, how much did you spray? I'm like, one spray. That's all I did. And yeah definitely unique in my opinion kind of melancholic smelling but i feel like this is a very sophisticated smell and i think that this is great for like winter time and if you love almond scents definitely try this one out okay the next one i have is blossom love from amouage now this is basically an amaretto scent there's cherry blossom in here and suede and of course there's other notes in here but those are like the most prominent notes and i didn't like this the first time i smelled it i smelled something fecal in here don't ask me why i don't know sometimes i get that with amouage perfumes and this was it but then i tried the sample after like three months i came back to it and it was very hot in the house and like it was basically summertime and it just opened up beautiful like it smelled very floral and sweet and i definitely smelled almond in here and that suede showed up a little bit it is just a very gorgeous feminine scent definitely unique i haven't smelled anything like this before and i feel like once you smell this you will definitely always recognize this this is definitely signature worthy in my opinion absolutely crazy performance amazing sillage amazing lasting power my husband absolutely hates this one on me <laughs> every time i use this he's like ew you smell like a grandma please do not use this and yeah i still wear it on purpose obviously but yeah absolutely amazing definitely try this one out especially if you love amouage fragrances now the next one i have is from histoire de parfums i think and it's called this is not a blue bottle 1.2 now that's how our the names are 
uh, with this house they have like this is not a blue bottle 1.1 1.2 1 I have 1.2 now this is basically a floral scent. there's lily of the valley in here and you guys in my opinion the lily of the valley is like the most amazing one in here it smells very sweet and creamy and milky it also smells fruity I believe there's a pear in here it basically smells like a pear uh lily candy or whatever that's what i get from here but this is extra extra creamy now my husband doesn't like this for some reason he says it smells like church oil i don't know why i'm not getting that at all definitely a pear white florals and something very creamy you guys this is extra unique i haven't smelled anything like this before i think that this is beautiful i don't hear anybody talking about this perfume and look at the bottle it's so stunning i only have this in 15 ml now i believe they have this in 60 ml and 120 ml and their bottles are very interesting so this is basically like one third of the bottle then i think you have like half of the bottle which goes like that it's bigger and then you have the big bottle but it's like it's still looking like it's half of an actual bottle i think i could be wrong maybe they do have an actual big bottle um that's like a square or whatever but that's how i remember it and um yeah i absolutely love having this bottle in my collection i think it's so pretty it's so colorful and it's definitely great for summertime for springtime and the performance is okay with it now i feel like if you spray this on the skin it sits pretty close to the skin after an hour or so but if you spray this on the clothes your whole closet is gonna smell once you put those clothes back so yeah i think that the performance is still great overall and definitely try this one if you love fruity and floral scents now the next one i have in my collection is dolce amalfi from zerzhev now to me this smells like a fruity fizzy drink that's also spicy a little bit and you guys i kind of smell coca-cola in here or whatever and my mom said the same thing when i let my mom smell this she was like wow this smells very different i haven't smelled anything like this before she's like is this even a perfume i'm like yeah it is <laughs> but yeah whoever i let this smell to everybody says wow definitely a unique smell now i read somewhere that people are comparing this to a spicy juicy fruit bubble gum and that's all that i smell in here from now on but i still like it it's very spicy and sweet and fruity and it's just gourmet. i don't know if you're a gourmand lover definitely try this one out absolutely amazing performance amazing sillage with this one and great great lasting power i also tested this in the hot weather it was absolutely amazing i think that this is great for summertime personally now the next one I have is from the house of Oud and it's called Keep Glazed. You guys, I feel like I talk so much about this perfume on my channel. It's crazy. This is basically a Grimond and I don't know why. Can you please tell me whoever smelled this? Do you think this is a Grimond? It is not in my opinion. The notes are like very confusing and I'll tell you why. If you read the notes, please do not blind buy this. I don't think that this is a safe blind buy because if you look at the notes, it says like mango, frozen lemon, whipped cream. I think there's vanilla in here, musk and like woody notes and stuff. And I thought that this was going to be like a mango ice cream or something. You know what I mean? You guys, it is absolutely not in my opinion. And whoever I let the smell to, everybody says the same thing. Like they smell whatever I smell in here. To me, this is like a very green and zesty fragrance that's also citrusy a little bit. There's also ginger in here. And like the most prominent notes in here that I smell is the lemon, the ginger, and the whipped cream. That's all that's showing up on my skin. And also the strawberry leaf. Yes, it smells very green now this is definitely like it doesn't smell edible whatsoever every time i wear this i don't want to like <laughs> eat the spot where i spray this you know uh, definitely great for summertime again because it's citrusy and zesty and all that stuff and in the base it definitely gets very milky and creamy absolutely amazing i haven't smelled anything like this before in my life and it has a great performance all you need is like one spray and you're good to go 
amazing sillage, amazing lasting power. Definitely try this one out. I feel like this perfume kind of gets a lot of hate or whatever. Like people, most of the people that I know do not like this. And nobody is even really talking about this fragrance. So I feel like it definitely deserves more attention. So some of the other perfumes that I have on my list I do not own, but I do have their samples and I tested them a few times and I already formed my opinion. And I can tell you from the very first sniff, I said, wow, like it is, it does not smell like a usual perfume. It does not smell mainstream or anything like that. It just smells very different. And so the first one I have is Snowy Owl from Zoologist. Now, I feel like nobody talks about the Zoologist house on YouTube. I haven't heard anybody actually. I don't know why. They have a bunch of fragrances and all of them are very unique. Uh, well, at least whatever I smelled smelled very unique. I haven't smelled anything like that before. And so I was very excited about the Snowy Owl one because there's like minty notes in here. There's like snowdrops. It just looked a very like cool, you know, and the bottle is very nice and cute. And when I smelled it, I said, hmm, you know, like it, it's basically not what I expected. It smells good. It smells very minty and fresh and kind of earthy. There's definitely something dusty in there. And it basically smells like you stuck your nose in earth and then you have a bunch of mint and like snow around you or whatever. That's just like the picture that I get. But it's definitely unique. I haven't smelled anything like that before. Now, I also feel like it is not like an actual fragrance. Like even though I like it, I don't think I don't know, I don't think I would be able to wear it. Maybe I would, I don't know. I still have the sample and I'm gonna try wearing it again and stuff. But if you love minty notes and if you love something very unique, definitely try Snow Owl from Zoologist. You guys, the next fragrance that I have on the list is, I absolutely hate it, you know? I thought I was gonna love it and I don't. I cannot stand this fragrance. It makes me nauseous. It's just a hate, hate, hate. That's it. However, I know that a lot of you really like this perfume and I know that it's like one of the best sellers from this house and it is Mukhalat from Mantel. You guys, if you look at the notes, they look good. There's strawberry in there, there's an almond, um, there's Peru balsam, there's like a bunch of good stuff in there. But once you smell it, you know what it smells like? To me, it smells like a strawberry car air freshener that's very cheap. It's like the the pink, I think it's pink, the, the pink tree that you put in your car, the strawberry scent, that's what I get from it. And it's so bad, it's like, I seriously cannot stand this fragrance. <laughs> or I also get like something fruity, like uh, a berry candy that's a little bit tart. And then I get incense, like the sticks that you light up in your house. Oh my gosh, you guys, even talking about this perfume, I'm like salivating. Like I cannot stop. It's just so gross. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but that's how I feel. I know that a lot of you like it and it has a great performance. All you need is like half of a spray, not even one full spray. And you're going to smell all day. You're going to leave a crazy trail everywhere. It's absolutely insane. But I just cannot stand it. It is definitely not a safe blind buy in my opinion. So if you're interested in the notes, definitely check it out before you buy it. You know, go to the store and test it or get a sample or whatever. But yeah, definitely smells unique. I haven't smelled anything like that before unless if you're going to wear that perfume and somebody's going to tell you that, like, what did you do? Where you're like in the car with an air freshener or whatever. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, definitely, definitely a unique fragrance. Okay, another one I have is from Zoologist and it's called Chipmunk. Now, I was very excited to smell this perfume again because there's hazelnut in there. There's just like, the notes looked cool. And from what I read, people were saying that it has like the most realistic hazelnut smell. And you know what? I did smell those hazelnuts in the opening. It smelled kind of like Nutella, very like chocolatey and very yummy. But those notes like quickly flew away and it just got very like earthy and kind of leathery, like there's tobacco in there or something. 
and I absolutely did not like it. It was just, I feel like it leans more towards the masculine side. Like I think it would be nice on a guy, but not on a woman in my opinion. But yeah, definitely earthy, kind of dusty again. Kind of similar to Snowy Owl, but that one is more on the fresh side and the minty side. And this one's more definitely on like nutty and earthy side. Definitely try this one out. Definitely unique. Definitely very special. And I just like having that sample just to have it. Just because, like I said, it's very, very special in my opinion. Now the next one I have from Amouage again. And it's called Imitation Woman. I also tested this fragrance not too long ago and I always looked at the notes in the bottle. The, the bottle is absolutely stunning and the notes looked very promising. There's black currant in there, there's incense and just like the notes looked very nice. However, the scent is just like something else. Amouage is like always something else. They always smell very unique. Now, I definitely get that black currant in there, but it's not the usual black currant that you would get in most of the fragrances. It smells kind of green and sweet, but there's like lots and lots of those um, leaves from the black currant, so it smells green. I definitely get that incense in there also, but there's also something fecal again, you guys. I don't know what it is. I noticed that, especially in Amouage House, I get that fecal note a lot of times and I don't know what it is. Like I said, it happened with Blossom Love and then that note luckily disappeared. I don't know if the same thing is going to happen with Imitation Woman. But overall, I like the scent. Definitely unique. I feel like once you smell that perfume, you will not forget it. And you will always recognize it no matter what. Another one that's signature worthy. And the performance is absolutely insane, just like with all of the Amouage fragrances. The sillage is great. The lasting power is great. So yeah. If you love black currant and definitely something on the edgy side, try Imitation Woman from Amouage. The next one I have is Symphonium from Zerzhev. Now, I talked about this fragrance a few times already on my channel. I don't own it, but I really, really want it. It's on my wish list and it basically smells like dark chocolate and an orange or an orange zest. It's the most realistic chocolatey fragrance that I have smelled. The performance in my opinion is not the best. I feel like it's more of a skin scent and yeah, th like that's the only thing that sucks about it. But it is so yummy. It smells great. If you're a Guermont lover, definitely try it out. I think you will like it. The price is just absolutely insane. I don't know why they did that. I mean, the presentation is great. The box is absolutely amazing. The bottle is just gorgeous. But you guys, the price is like $500 for like, I think, 50 ml, which is absolutely insane. <sighs> but yeah i hope that i will have this fragrance soon in my collection definitely try this one out and then i have the last fragrance here and it's also from amouage and it's called brecken woman is it brecken brecken i'm not sure <laughs> but it is a very very unique scent if you love green scents definitely try this one out so to be honest if you look at the notes you like you would think that it's Basically, when you would smell the fragrance, you would not think that that's what it was before purchasing. You know what I mean? You would expect to smell some of the notes in there, but you will not. I don't know. At least I don't. It smells very green. It smells like fresh cut grass or you're taking a walk somewhere in the forest and you smell a bunch of green leaves or whatever. It is just the most unique fragrance ever. Absolutely amazing performance, amazing sillage, great lasting power. All you need is like half a spray, not even the full spray. And yeah, I remember I let my mom smell the sample and she was like, oh wow, it smells very nice. And I was very surprised because usually she does not like those type of perfumes. Um, but she was like, yeah, I definitely like it. And she really wanted to keep that sample. Yeah, definitely try that one out. I think it's going to be discontinued. I'm not sure. Maybe those are like the wrong rumors that I hear. But yeah, I heard somewhere that it's going to be discontinued. It's definitely a gem in the fragrance community, in my opinion. And if you still haven't tried that one, definitely, definitely test that one out. 
Okay, you guys, this is it for this video. These are the perfumes that are unique in my opinion. Let me know what you think of these fragrances. Put down your list below of the fragrances that you think that are mostly unique to you. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.